What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Gamer Duo here, welcoming you back to some more Dangin' Ropa. Last episode, I kind of pseudo cliffhangered you a little bit because I was like, okay, we're going to do a final free time. And then I was like, oh, wait, it's been 40 minutes, uh, which, you know, I say final free time like I know it's our final free time. This is just based off of calculations, okay? The last two chapters have had three free time periods. This is my third one. So that's what my guess is. Also, every... Oh, wow. Every, okay, that's cool. Um, can I join you guys for dinner, Hina and Sakura? Can I hang out with you both at once? I would, like, really appreciate that. I want to get into the girl squad with you guys. Like, that's... I'll, I'll just be the man in the girl squad. That's how it works. Okay. Honestly, though, we have not hung out with Sakura, and we need to. I can almost feel the wind in my face. Hmm? Should I talk to Sakura? Of course! We haven't talked to her yet! I admire the almost greedy approach you take towards growing stronger. Now, I'd like to begin training with you in my family's secret techniques. Oh? Sakura introduced me to her family's secrets. I feel like I've gotten a lot stronger. Sakura and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Sakura a present? Yes! What are we giving Sakura? Sakura! Girl, um, I have a plan. And my plan was to give you some bindings. So hopefully you enjoy it. I've been looking for everywhere for this. How did you know? Let's go! We did it good! We did it good! We did it good. You're quite a mysterious man, Makoto. Seems like you're so pleased with something I gave her makes me so happy. I said Sagira, Sakura. <laughs> my post-training break is most the most relaxing time of my day. Seems the sensation of your muscles cooling down after heating up during a workout is the only true reward. No matter how many times I experience it, I never get tired of it. Do you exercise every morning, Sakura? Unless the air there are errands that absolutely can't get out of that I absolutely can't get out of. Yes, I always do my training. If I don't, I feel restless for the rest of the day. But I am amazed that you can do it every single day. Doesn't it get tough? I can't say I've ever seen it as tough. It is also that I, it's all that I so that I can get stronger after all. And I have to keep on going, getting stronger because my destiny is to fight. Your destiny is to fight. From the day I was born, I've been fighting. Heaven sent me to live as its champion. That's one heck of a legend. My father was my master. Every waking moment was spent with him learning to fight. As a child, I sparred with boxing champions and hit the mat with a wrestling gold medalist. And I was no match for them when I first began, of course. But before long, they were no match for me. You mean, you actually started beating people like that? I'd say my specialty is solid stand-up that transitions into gappling, gappling and a solid ground game. Es essentially, it is a complete approach. Anything else would just not make sense. You can only become the best by reaching the top of each discipline and by fusing them to all together. Stand up, fighting, grappling, and strong ground game? That can only be mixed martial arts. You, you're basically a mixed martial arts fighter then, right? That's right. The most effective real-world fighting style, which is why I chose it. I don't want to just be the best in competitions. I want to be the best and strongest human being on Earth. I wouldn't I wouldn't bet against you, that's for sure. But aren't you already the best? No, not yet. There's still someone I have to surpass. Really? Until I beat them, I will never become the strongest. You mean there's someone out there stronger than you? <laughs> Her dad, bet. Maybe I'll tell you another time if it, the opportunity presents itself. Sakura did not make a sound as she left. I honestly can't believe there's someone out there stronger than Sakura. Even if they can't, they're real, can they only be really be human? Sakura's report card has been updated. Your maximum skill points has also increased. We're doing good with that. We have a lot of skill points, and I don't know I don't know how to feel about that. I feel like that's a good thing, but I don't know. I head back to my room for a little while. Do we have more free time? Or is it nighttime? Aha! I was right. Okay. Well, not necessarily, because we're still in daily life. But, you know, it'll transition soon. I have a feeling. I have that strong urge that something's about to happen. Let, let's be fair. Not time already. I guess I'll just go to bed to, for today. Yes. Also, 
Oh, I forgot about these for some reason. I don't know why. Oh my gosh. I'm now just realizing each individual piece is staying within the theater. <laughs> That's amazing. Each piece is just continuing through. Happy New Day. I'm the kind of guy, I don't want to celebrate a new year. I want to celebrate the dawn of an every new day. Because of a new day deserves celebrating, so... Happy new day. That's why there's the calendar in the background. That makes sense. I am learning this game, and we are here for it. Okay. I'm paying attention to this. I don't think it's going to be a standard message. It's a basic message. Oh, are we still... I better get to the dining hall. Oh. I mean, like... Okay, I'm not going to complain about a basic message. Basic message hopefully means that things are okay. I don't trust this. I really don't trust this situation, but, like, it's fine, right? Like, huh. I don't trust this at all. One, two, three, four, five. There's five people here. Taka and Kyoko were not here today. You know? Kyoko's still on guard duty, probably. Hmm. I have no idea about Taka. Damnation. Me as well, and forget about that guy. <sighs> you don't have to get so mad about it. You know? They're rivals in love. What you gonna do? Hmm. Don't put me on the same level as that, that virgin. I might catch his virginity, okay? You probably already have it, it's fine. Nah, my guess is you are already infected. Let's go! Here, bro! Oh my god. Why? I'm at a hero. I'm on the same wavelength as Hero today. Like, okay, okay. I don't know if that's a good thing, but okay. Wait, can you really catch it? Oh my gosh. Hina, Hina. No, no, no. That's not how it works. Stop being vulgar. Let's eat breakfast. But as soon as my hands approach with my food... Oh, Jill, what are you doing? That voice. The doors of the dining hall exploded open and the figure appeared. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's you, Genocide Jack, and... That's enough. Don't bother asking why we arrived at the same time. The answer should be obvious. I'll give you a hint. I'm wearing a red lingerie today. Um, I don't think anyone wanted to know that. I, I agree. Hold on a second, you... Huh? Uh, uh. <laughs> oh my gosh, Jill! Jill! Okay. Okay, Jill. We're talking actual measurements. Look at your mouth. I'm seriously going to you. Do? Oh my god! You don't need to say that. I mean, you do, but apparently. You're starting to freak me out. If you lay a finger on Hina, I will show you no mercy. So, what do you want? Uh, surely you are not here to join us for breakfast. Naturally. Of course not. I came here to hear a story. A story? A story that nobody's bothered to tell me yet. Are you talking about alter ego? Mm. Sorry, but we can't talk about that right now. What? Why not? Mm. Because of certain circumstances. Mm. Up till now, you haven't given a crap about anything. And now you're all concerned? I don't buy it. I just made a decision. When we get out of here, I'm going to feed your body to the vultures. What kind of messed up director are you? Is it, th but th isn't this a democracy? Or would you exclude those who doesn't fit in your tyrant or tyrannical majority? That's not what we're doing. That's fine. Well, whatever. If nothing else, tell me what's going on with Taka. When I saw him yesterday, I happened to notice something seemed off. So I was just curious. Taka has become utterly useless. Celeste, you don't have to say it like that. Did his spirit collapse or something? Was he unable to withstand his environment? But men who clothe themselves in such cheap fabric of justice are often the first to fall. <laughs> but perhaps that will make things all the more interesting. Interesting? Let me leave you with a bit of advice. Don't come to rely on false camaraderie, or you will reap a bitter reward. 
That's why you came to give us that amazing advice. Like, oh my gosh. Uh, it seems like I am well unwelcome here. Then I will grant you the desire and remove myself from the situation. Yes, uh, we gotta get out of here. Uh, you don't need to come with me. You don't need to play hard to get. Master, you can just... Oh my god. Why is she... She's like worse than Mondo. It doesn't make any sense. Bayakia started to slowly back out of the room. He started to pick up speed as soon as he was sprinting out of the dining hall. He ran away. <laughs> now that he's running... <laughs> oh my god. Jill, you psycho. Wait, 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 wait. wait. So, at the end there, what was that all about? Um, Just now, Bayakia was like... Maybe he's like a mean guy who starts acting different when he gets all flustered when, when things change. I guess so. Oh my god. Those of us left the, in the dining hall finished our breakfast and we went to our rooms. Yeah, um... Hmm. Jill, you can go now, honestly... What? Oh, whoa! We still have more free time! For, for, for free time! I know who I'm not talking to, though. Okay. Who the heck? I wasn't prepared to have more free time on my hands. Huh. Who's in the dining hall? I like. It's, it's not a necessity. I can get the report card later. Uh, no, I think it is. I have to play it like I, mm. yeah, uh, uh, oh, I cannot believe I am, I don't even want to look at what I'm doing right now. I am actively talking to Fumi so that way I can get like, I, my, my approach was to be well-rounded, which means I had to talk to people I don't like, but still it hurts. That's my approach in most of these kind of video games. Hello. Well, if it isn't Mr. Niyagi, how can I help you? Should I hang out with Fufumi today? Sure, fine. Hello. So you want me to, to be around me, eh? That means you've realized that I must have certain powers. <laughs> yes, that's right. My greatest power is my ability to negate the powers of others. I've never actually used it in a fight yet, but I'm not worried. Because whatever ability they have, all I need is my power of negation. Fumi concerned me and made me take part in his delusion. Fumi and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Fumi a present? Not really, but I have some stupid things in my inventory that I think I can give him. Oh, you know what? I could, I could give him soda. Honestly? Or a cup of noodles? An overflowing lunchbox? That might not be a bad idea to give him. No, I, there, oh my gosh. Here, you know what? You'd appreciate this. What? LOL, if you thought I'd want something like this, just LOL. Uh-oh, didn't seem too happy about it. <laughs> I see quality in you, Mr. Niyagi. True quality, and that's why I've decided to, to present to you the lecture on the nature of fan fiction. If we're going to be friends, we must, we must be fully informed. I will permit no fanfic bigotry whatsoever. I don't think I have any fanfic bigotry. I mean, I don't really know anything about that kind of geeky stuff anyway. See, there it is. To you, fanfic equals geeky, right? But it's all that that word is worth. Huh? Did I say something wrong? But that's okay, because I would take the word geek as a compliment. For you, see, there's nobody on Earth so full of knowledge as a geek. Yes, in, in a sense, a geek is like an expert. That's right, a total expert. And a successful musician must necessarily be a music geek, a good movie director, a movie geek. You see, those experts, those geeks who open up to the world the world to others. So when you say that writing fanfic is geeky, you're recognizing us as true experts. Um, no, that's not exactly what... Oh, okay, so uh, what exactly is a fanfic then? Oh, super direct question for the win! Basically, you have all different kinds of stories, of stores and events, right? 
Well, these were groups of holy warriors sell their own stuff based on games, comics, anime, and everything. And the stuff those people make is fanfic? <laughs> comics are the most common creation, but it also includes games, music, and even merchandise. By the way, there's a name for when a group of fanfic creators come together. Specifically, it's organized group that comes together to release their work. <sighs> a menagerie. I don't know. Is it a menagerie? Well, I suppose it, on a technical, like, just linguistic level, that's true. But I'm talking about something a little more common. Listen, I'm sure you know this. Go ahead and tell me a group. Ah. Uh... Is it a circle? Of course it is. Of course you knew that. I mean, it's only common sense. I certainly hope you don't expect me to explain such common sense topics every time. Well, like I said, I don't know too much about this stuff. This goes beyond the I don't know too much. But I guess I can't blame you. The propaganda never touches on that. So the fanfic ambassador, that by the time I'm done with you, you'll be itching to buy a premium pass to the next fanfic convention. Right, right? Obviously, he's so excited about this, but... <laughs> That is it for today. I hope you're excited for your next lesson. I can't wait for you to see the future that has in store for the two of us. Kind of scared to see what the future has in store for the two of us. Hopefully there is none, and then I don't have to worry about it because he'll be D-E-A-D. -E but, yeah, no, it's fine. I unlocked handiwork, and you give yourself a pat on the back because you earned it. Uh. Don't think too hard. Don't think too hard about that. After we're done, I've decided to head back to my room for a while. Yes, well-deserved. Let's uh, not talk to me ever again because we got the skill that we needed, apparently. After one, talk to him. So that's good. I, yeah, not talking to him ever again. Cool. Good. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> who are we going to see that's not cringe like that? Um, I hate the fact that I might have to see Hero, too. Hero's not as cringe, though. That's the thing. Like, Hero acted... Oh, gosh. Hero is not as cringe. Byakia. Oh! You know what? No. We're seeing Byakia. Byakia's... Oh, uh, no. No, 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 no. Jill. No, no, no. I guess I should press the doorbell. Ding dong. What do you want? I wondered who'd come talk to me. Turns out... It's the always useless, ever incompetent Makoto. Should I hang out with you? Yes. You know what? I'm going to force you to hang out with me because you made fun of me. That's fine. fine. I don't mind allowing you to indulge in my attention. I hope you appreciate this. I spent some time with Biakia. I can actually pronounce your name now, so that's cool. Biakia and, Biakia and I grew a little bit closer today. Would you like to give Biakia a present? Biakia... You know what? Have some potato chips. Honestly, you'd enjoy the simplest of things, I think. It can't be. I don't take kindly to people trying to make me a f or make a fool of me. There's no reality in which I would be happy to receive such garbage. I think I made him mad. He probably thinks of me worse now. <laughs> cool. Glad you didn't like the potato chips. I have a question for you, huh? You do. Something's been bothering me for a while, and I can't take it anymore. So I have to, so I, to answer my question, I need you to explain to me what exactly your ultimate lucky student title means. Oh, well, I totally don't get it myself, but what I do know is that I was picked at random from a pool of normal students. So, you just got into Hope Peaks Academy by blind luck? I see. Well, that answers my question. What was the question? How a commoner like you, with absolutely no unique talents or abilities, could get into this school in the first place? Oh, I forgot to mention boring. How boring and untalented and utterly generic commoner got in. Boring? Generic? Did, did you really have to list all that off? But it's the truth. How, maybe compared to you, the ultimate affluent pro or progeny, after, and after all. But even, you seem to think that it's merely an issue of title, but make no mistake. My lineage, intelligence, figure, athletic ability, they are all ultimate. Which... Is to say, I am the ultimate perfection. Feel free to be calling me that, in fact. He's really taking this to the extreme. You have nothing. I, who have everything, we are living proof that all men are not created equal. You have pity, Makoto. Life can be very cruel indeed. 
And because I have pity, I have so you, pity you so much. Perhaps someday I'll allow you to hear my tale of glory. Consider it a blessing, a gift from you to me, or me to you, to allow you to bask in my glory. Having finished his mean-spirited lecture, Biakia left me standing there in silence. I learned one thing about Biakia today. Anytime I talk to him, I need to be prepared to ex for extreme psychological trauma. Biakia's report card has been updated based off your experience with him today. You've unlocked the skill Cool and Composed. Give yourself a pat on the back. You earned it. I'll take that. Take. I'll take another skill. I did my best to keep my spirit from shattering like glass and went back to my room. Night time. Um, there's something by the door. Oh, wait. No, there's something by the door. <laughs> Investigate the slip by the door. Yeah, I got it, game. It's fine. I just... There's a piece of paper. Looks like somebody must have slipped it out of my door. Meet in the dining hall. The handwriting is really good. But to want to meet up so suddenly? Who wrote it? And why? What's the point in calling me out like this? I'm kind of nervous, but there's no way I can't check it out now. Who in the group would have handwriting like that? I would assume maybe Hina? Hina's been wanting me lately. That's going to be my guess is Hina. Hina or Celeste? It's one of the women. I, my guess is it's one of the women for sure. Maybe it's Kyoko. It's Hero? He wants one-on-one -on -one time with me? Why is he all of a sudden becoming so much more talkative and active and... I don't know. Something seems very sus about it. Like, it feels disingenuine. Because, like, he was quiet all through the beginning, right? And it makes sense because, you know, he could be an introvert and he could be getting more comfortable with the situation. And, you know, I respect that as an introvert myself. I just don't know. Like, it feels wrong. Oh, Makoto. Hero, then the letter I found in my room? No. Yep, I wrote it. Your handwriting is really nice. Yeah, oddly nice. Just saying. Hmm. Well, I was always taught that if you had bad penmanship, a ghost would come and haunt you. Who taught you that? And why did you want to meet with me today? Hmm. Oh, I just did what Kyoko asked me. That, there we go. There we go. That's what, that makes more sense. I was like, there is no possible way Hero would have just thought to have one-on-one -on -one time with me. There, absolutely not. That, there you go. There's the answer to the question that I was looking for. That's more genuine. Kyoko wants to talk and Kyoko's on or with Hero. Okay. Kyoko. Actually. I'm just an errand boy on this. Mm. Anyway. What did you say to the late night? What do you say to a late night bath session? Huh? You know? Okay, let's do it. No, I. I was totally lost. Hero grabbed me by the shoulder, pulled me close, and whispered into my ear. Serious? It's all an act to get the mastermind. So the mastermind won't notice everyone waiting in the bathhouse. You absolute. Oh, that's the hero I know. That's the hero I know. Just say everything out loud. Out loud, out loud, even though it was a whisper, it's more conspicuous that way. Monokum is gonna know something's up. Let's go, we're about to die now. <laughs> what? Then did Alter Eno Ego finish his research? You got it. Hero, let's take a dip together. It was probably louder than it needed to be. Me and Hero hurried to the dressing room. Or somebody took... Why do I feel like somebody took Alter Ego? As soon as I got to the dressing room, an angry voice echoed out. Hey, you! How long were you going to keep us waiting for? Taka's irritated voice pierced the air as he started pointing pointed the, at his wristwatch. It's almost 10 o'clock, you know that. Bedtime is all good, all the good li for the, all the good little boys and girls. Shut up! 
What did you say? You want to make you, you want me to make you cry, little girl? Taka, you seem to be even worse off than I had heard. Maybe, well, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe you finally started to grow a personality. What? You got a poop falling out of your mouth of yours. You know that? How rude. You maggot. You, you like, you have no right to speak that way to our heaven-sent master. Um, you're back to your normal gloomy self. I can hardly keep track at this point. Me neither. Sh -sh shut up. Well, anyway, everyone's here, right? Then my messenger duty is complete. You wanted us all to meet here, right, Kyoko? So what are we doing here? Isn't it obvious? It's got to do something to do with alter ego, right? Yeah, totally. Did he find a clue? What is it? The way out? The mastermind's true identity? Kyoko, what are you hiding? It's gone. I knew it! I said it! I freaking said it! I said it out loud! And I... I... Hafumi? What did you do? It's 100%. Hafumi 100% took it to... Oh, Hafumi can just get slaughtered right now and I wouldn't matter. It, it would be fine. It would be okay. Gone. I came here a little earlier to check up on things and that's when I discovered Alter Ego's laptop. Alter Ego. The laptop had disappeared. I literally said it. I literally said it. I, I feel so good about myself for literally catching it, but like... Ugh, fool me. What? No You're kidding, right? Oh. What? What? She's gone? No way! You. you can't be fudging serious. What did you do with him? Mm. Was it the mastermind? Did they finally notice what we were up to? Wrong. I told Alter Ego to yell if anyone he didn't recognize appeared. If it was the mastermind, I'm sure he would have all alerted us. Well, Maybe we just missed it? However, I was in the laundry room next door all day. There's no way I wouldn't have heard it. But, but, I can confirm in the map she was in the laundry room the entire time. If it wasn't the mastermind, then. <laughs> the solution to this particular mystery is obvious. It could have only been him. Mr. Ishimaru, you stole her, didn't you? What? The ultimate moral compass? I would never do something like that. I don't think it counts when you say it about yourself like that. You. You're the suspicious one here. You've been nothing... <laughs> You're nothing... <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Shows what you know. This isn't my true form. I still have three more transformations left. Eh, wait. I mean, it, it wasn't me. Everyone knows you're the thief. Wrong. It's you. Well, I'm sure it's one of you. So whoever did it, just hurry up and confess. Wrong. No, there's no way either of them did it. Huh? Why not? So... I told Al Alter Ego to yell if either Taka or Hifumi came into the dressing room. What? what? <sighs> it was a countermeasure against a clear danger that one of them might come for it. <sighs> but I never heard any yell. Indeed. Exactly, which means it wasn't them. But... Then who was it? The fundamental circumstances are becoming clear. If it wasn't the mastermind, and it wasn't Taka or Hifumi, then quite simply it was somebody else. Makoto, Celeste, Sakura, Hina, Toko, or myself. One of us must be the thief. That's terrible. Why would any of us want to steal Alter Ego? How about this for a reason? There's a traitor among us. Yup. That there is. Anyways. Um, that was confirmed at the end of the third, uh, chapter, or end of the second chapter, that's... Huh? Hmm. One of us is working with a mastermind, a spy. And that's the one who stole Alter Ego. Can't you deny the possibility? It, it can't hmm. be. I've actually been thinking for some time now that there might actually be a spy among us. The mastermind brought someone in to help things move, move keep, help things keep moving smoothly. A spy for the mastermind? A uh, traitor? No, it's impossible. Something that horrible? There's no way. Why do you not speak? Are you struck silent by your inability to comprehend such a possibility? I don't care. I don't care who. Someone, anyone, save her. Please rescue her. I'm begging you. I just want to see your smiling face again. 
same here. How many times do they have to kill bro before they're gonna they're happy? I beg, I'll scrape I scrape my head across the ground just to give him back. This is pretty messed up, but I still think I kind of get how they feel. At the very least. I think alter ego is most likely still safe for the moment, at least. Yeah, if they wanted to destroy it, then they would most likely have taken it, or they wouldn't have taken it. They would have done it right here. I see. So you're saying whoever did it has something else in mind for him? Something else. <laughs> that doesn't matter. Nothing. Nothing else matters. No matter what it takes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it back. That is my promise as a man. I swear I'll see if we're using the power of love. And it's nighttime. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Same same message. We'll take that. It's nighttime. It is unfortunate, but we still have to leave our search for tomorrow. For now, everyone get some sleep. How can you be so casual? We don't have time to wait around. What good are you if you are tired? You still, you will be much more effective after a good night's sleep. <laughs> Who gives a crap about effective? We're talking about feelings here. Calm down. Anything we do at night brings a higher chance of the mastermind noticing us. Celeste is right. We should invent, begin our investigation tomorrow morning. What do you think, Makoto? I, I agree with you. If we run around tonight in a panic, the mastermind's sure to notice, then we won't get anything done. Taka, Hofumi, I know how you feel right now, but it's best, just for tonight, that you try and endure it. This is fine. Okay, then let us part ways for today. We will begin our search for Alter Ego in the morning. And you should think about what I said. Someone may very well be spying for the Mastermind. Byaki is right. Alter Ego, gone as quickly as he appeared. We finally discovered a small measure of hope, but even that was taken away from us and couldn't even put up a fight. We were given hope, and then, just as the hope was taken away, despair. It's just like, just like what the mastermind is doing to us. Then, could it be really be true? Whoever stole Alter Ego could really be working for the mastermind? And if that's true... No, it can't be. There's no way. I didn't even realize I yelled that out loud. The scary thing is... That isn't the idea of spying, someone spying on us. What was really scary is the idea that we're starting to doubt each other again. It scares me more than anything. Damn it. I threw myself onto my bed, trying to shake off all of those unsettling thoughts. Before long, I fell into a restless sleep. Oh, we got the judge! Murder is a word whose definition changes with time, with place, with society. If murder is evidence of an abnormality, then all of the history skaters' heroes must have been abnormal. Sometimes, Sometimes. Oh. Are way more abnormal than the ones they don't. That's actually so based and so true, though. Normal message? Normal message. Today, we have to look for Alter Ego. Okay, first things first, to the dining hall. Oh, we're going straight there. I found myself surprisingly high spirits and hurried to the dining hall. But when I found out what was waiting there for me... Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is it. What happened to the others? Aren't they coming? There were only three people in the dining hall. Sakura, Hina, and Kyoko. So including me, only four people. God, this is why I hate people who take their sweet time with everything. However. Anyway, let's wait a little longer for the others. So we decided to wait in case anyone else showed up. But no matter how long we waited... Um... So, it's 8 o'clock. We've been waiting here for a full hour now. Why haven't the others come? I mean, Hero and Celeste never missed a day till now. And that's what I'm really worried about. Hifumi and Taka, they were mere eager, more eager than anyone to look after Alter Ego. And they aren't here. Careful. Something must have happened. Huh? Seem... I was careless. I was too distracted by Alter Ego. 
but Monokuma gave us a motive. So there's no way something wouldn't have happened eventually. Monokuma's motive. Ten million dollars! I prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive. What do you think? It's ten million bucks! Ten million smackaroos! It's like totally wowy wow. Don't tell me something. somebody actually did something for money. That's what I wanted to say, but I didn't bother. I already understood. I understood, and I hated that I did. You can never really know another person completely. Anything can happen here, you, and you can't consider it strange. Not really. We need to go look for the people who never showed up. Okay, let's track them down. Without another word, we left the dining hall. We can cover more ground if we split up. Sakura, you go check the dorms. Make sure to check all of our rooms. Makoto, you check the first floor of the school. And meanwhile, I'll check the second floor. Okay, okay then I'll check the third okay. floor. Don't take any risks. If anything happens, call for help right away. I really hope nothing happens. So do I. Well okay, let's go. Well, in the very next episode of the Danganronpa series, we'll be investigating the first floor of the school, if I read that correctly. I think I did. So, again, thank you guys so much, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!